Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. A section of the upper floor of the Mandeville Parish Court was today damaged in an early morning fire. As a result, all cases listed for the 202-year-old building had to be adjourned. And the Mandeville police say they will be charging a Manchester man in connection with yesterday's theft of 14 goats and 3 cows. The man was arrested in the Ward Avenue area of the Manchester capital after the police swooped down on him. The woman who allegedly dumped her newborn into a pit latrine in Essen Castle District in St. Anne last week Wednesday has been charged with cruelty to a child. 39-year-old Ethelyn Cole is to appear in court by tomorrow. Chairman of Proven Rate Christopher Williams has apologized for controversial remarks he made suggesting that a new housing development was affordable. According to Williams, the unit starting at $21 million could be purchased by middle-class people if they gave up some simple things like coffee they consume. In sports, the AAF has announced that come next year it will be cutting the finals of the triple jump, the 200 meters, the discus and the 3,000 meters steeplechase from the Diamond League. However, the AAF says it will continue to have the events during the season. In your currency trading today, one US dollar was being sold for $141.62, the British pound sterling for $184.33 and the Canadian dollar for $108.43. In your weather forecast, on Friday morning, there will be showers over northern parishes and generally fair conditions elsewhere. In the afternoon, expect scattered showers and thunderstorms over inland areas and southwestern parishes. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.